I'm not usually the type of person to make a video about goal setting because typically I, I don't like goal setting. I like looking back and seeing what you achieved and how you can learn from what you can do better. But to look forward and like set goals, I've always found to be very pointless and useless. And that is when it's done in a certain way and how most people do it. But there's a different way that I think is extremely useful to be a different way of setting goals. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So the most common way that people set goals, let's say we're at January 1st, what do we want to achieve this year? Okay, great. If I'm a new publisher, very common goal and a very good goal to have is I want to achieve $10,000 in one month for my publishing business. Great. It's, it's a very good goal. I want to lose 20 pounds. Yeah, makes sense. I, I want to buy my first car. I want to get a girlfriend. Yes, these are all goals, but setting them doesn't really do anything because it, we're not we're not discussing how to actually achieve those goals. So to say you want to achieve a certain thing is great, but it's useless. So it doesn't really serve any purpose. So the way that I like to view this instead is everything that I just mentioned, $10,000 a month, weight loss, buying whatever is something that's important to you. I don't like to think of them as goals. I would rather call them something else. Let's call them desires. It's what you desire to do at some point in this year. Now, your goals instead are the actions that you're going to be taking to achieve those desires. What are you going to be doing on either a daily or a weekly basis every single day slash week that's going to lead to that desire becoming true? Now, I think you can agree with me that it's actually much more useful to talk about the actions that need to be taken because we're in complete control of what we do and that these goals, you can look at them consistently and see, am I actually doing them? Great. Am I on track? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? No. Yes. Adjust whatever. So really the first thing you want to figure out is you want to sit down and see what do I need to do specifically to achieve these goals? Let's call them desires that we want to achieve this year. That's not what this video is about because it's specific to what your goals are. But um, if you were a publisher, there would be a long list of, the, not a long list actually, what I mean to say is a short list of actions that you should be doing every single day or at the very least every single week. Because the biggest challenge for people is actually doing the actions that they're supposed to do to achieve the thing that they want. Now I want to give a really good example of this and to do that, I, uh, I've been wanting to implement a whiteboard into these videos. I've never done before. I'm not really comfortable with using it yet, but I want to introduce it now and sort of see, see how it works. So I'm going to just going to grab this right here. How does this work? Does this make sense? Is there a glare? Let's, uh, let's just try this. Okay. So, um, let's say that you want to achieve $10,000 a month in a publishing business. Now, one of the best ways of doing that as an example, and this is an example that I'm taking from one of my friends, Ollie, if you know who he is. Um, one of the best ways to achieve a highly profitable book is to get lots of reviews on the book. So let's say you have set a desire for yourself in 2021 to reach, to get 500 reviews on a book. It's a great goal. Okay. So let's try and use this whiteboard. That actually being shown is there. Okay. Now Ollie's smart. So before we even talked about this, he had already told me the actions that he's going to take on a daily and a weekly basis in order to achieve this desire. So he has set daily and weekly goals that he's going to do consistently. And that's all achieving anything really is. It's doing the actions that you're supposed to be doing consistently every single day, at least every week. Okay. So, the goals that he has set for himself, where if he just does these two things consistently, he knows that this desire is going to become true. And if this becomes true, then $10,000 a month, most likely, or at least very close to comes true. So here is what he, how he had set up for himself. The two things that he needs to do every single week is one, I hope that's readable is one email every single day to his email list. He has a publishing business. He has an email list pretty big and he wants to send one email every single day promoting, you know, building a relationship, promoting his other books and so on. The other thing that he wants to do
is 52 blah, podcast appearances in one year. So that comes out to one podcast appearance every single month. Uh, sorry, every single week. And his publishing business, it's not its not a personal brand. He uses a, a pen name, but um, you know he's very much connected to it. And he knows that if he sends one good email to his email list every single day, and he makes 52 podcast appearances or interviews on other podcasts, that just by default of doing those two things, he will uh, get 500 reviews on his primary book, and he we will therefore hit $10,000 per month in his publishing business. So the way that you want to set goals and sort of outline what you're going to do throughout the entire year is the actions that you need to take in order to achieve your desires. Okay, does that make sense? Now, another thing that I want to talk about is something that I have written on the whiteboard, but it's too high up, so I'm just going to adjust the camera real quick. Okay, this has now become an extremely awkward filming angle, but at least you can hear what I'm saying. And I don't think this whole whiteboard thing is going very well right now. So I'm going to have to practice a little bit and sort of figure out angles and lighting and stuff. But what I want to discuss next is something called Parkinson's Law. So I have the definition here. It is work expands to fill the time allotted. Okay, so this is related to setting a time goal for the goals or the desires that you have set for yourself. Now, I bring this up because this was discussed in a recent Q&A call um, in our program. Some, we had asked people, what are some goals that you have for yourself this year? And someone had said, I want to uh, pub or what was it? I want to write two books myself. Um, and I said, OK, good. But don't you feel like that's that's not very ambitious? Two goals or sorry, two books in a whole year. Um, that's not going to get you very far. That, we're moving very slow and you're not going to achieve the true desires that you've set, set yourself if you're only going to be um, having two books published. And what the response was that, oh, I just I don't want to be too ambitious with my goals and then not hit them. Now, I completely understand the point and, and what they're saying, but then we have Parkinson's law that comes into play, which is very, very real. And to translate uh, into the context of, of goal setting, if you set a goal and you give yourself six months to achieve it, even though it could easily be achieved in three weeks, naturally you will find a way to make it take six months long. You'll, it, it, just, it just works that way. If you've tried doing this for yourself, if you have a project that is due for school and it's due in three weeks, you are probably going to be working on it on the last day, the last few days, the last week. If it's due in two days, you will find a way to get that project done in two days. You always do. You almost always do. And the same goes for goals. If you set goals that are just, they have to be realistic, of course, but if they're not very, I don't know, challenging to yourself or they're not ambitious in any way, you're going to make very slow progress. And I promise you, it will take as long as you set for yourself. What's not going to happen is that you're going to achieve that goal in two months instead of 12, and then you're going to blow past it and then, um, and then you know, have written eight books instead of two. But let's say you had set your goal to five books, and let's say we break it down to one book per month. You are much more likely to actually do the work that it takes in that period of time, as long as you have the discipline to actually stick to your deadlines, right? So when setting a time frame for your goals, be, be realistic, but be ambitious with it. If you are setting too far in the future, it's, it, it, shit's just going to go too slow. And this, this is a cliche quote, but like success does not move slow. You can't be super slow with it and, um, and expect to have the results that other people have if that's what you want. So, um, yeah. Is there anything else that I wanted to talk about here? Yeah. Okay. I can pick, quickly, uh, let me move the camera angle down cause I don't want to show the whiteboard anymore. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is just the desires that I have for myself and the goals that I have set in order to achieve those. This is not a comprehensive list, but um, it's most of it. So I'm looking here at the screen, which is why I'm looking off. My main desire is to, I'm not going to put an exact number on it, but it is to grow our company, publishinglife.com, to a certain number. I don't want to disclose the exact number because you might think I'm crazy, but um, I just want to grow that as much as I can within, uh, within 2021. 
Now it's just that information on its own is pretty useless and it's not going to drive me or help me in any way. So I have a list of uh, some daily, more so weekly goals that I want to do every single week that if I know I do them, that I will be achieving that financial number that I've set for myself this year. So what they are, for one, I want to film a YouTube video every single week. If I do that, I know we're going to bring very good progress towards the goal. I want to start a podcast, which we're in the middle of, and release a, an episode every single week. And Christian will be doing a YouTube video every week as well. Alex as well. So we want to do two videos and 100 videos throughout the entire year. So uh, the next one is the podcast, which we will be doing. So look forward to that. I'm excited about that. That's going to be fun. I want to film ads every single week. If you've been on YouTube, you may have seen one of our ads before, but in order to maintain new customers coming in, we need to consistently film more and more ads over and over again. So that's something we learned last year. And I want to finish writing the book that I'm in the middle of. I'll have a book here. It'll be something along the lines of this. I want to finish in the next two weeks. I could easily give myself two months and I promise you it would take two months. If I really make this the sole focus for myself, I will finish in two weeks. Maybe it'll take me 16 days because of, you know, whatever life situations that come the way. But I want to do that in the next two weeks. It's very ambitious, but that's what I want to do. And then two other goals, not related to business, but just very important to myself. And, you know, you could also set, set goals for personal life, relationship life, all that stuff. I won't talk about that here. But um, the other two, go to the gym four days a week. I have a desire of building more muscle and getting a bit leaner and, you know, having, having a nice body. Okay, that's important to me. And in getting stronger, I like going to the gym. In order to do that, I have to go to the gym four days a week. And then on the side of nutrition, I just want to keep junk food to a minimum and then not overeat. That's really the things I want to do consistently on a daily basis. So it wasn't a comprehensive list of everything, but it's to give you a good idea as to, you know, my own goals, my own desires and what I'm going to be doing to achieve them. So I hope that video was helpful. I believe it was. Let me know what you think. And what I'd also really like to see is for you to type out the desires that you have set for yourself this year and the goals, meaning the daily and weekly actions that you're going to be taking consistently in order to achieve that. So hit that like button. If you like this video, subscribe. And I am I'm actually really looking forward to seeing your comments and, uh, and just talking about it. So take care and we'll see you in the next video.